started teaching in 2008. I had been practicing it for eight years at that point and I was working at a studio and I really loved um, just sharing it. I had been teaching it you know, to friends of mine, sort of telling them how great it was. So I went through the At One Yoda teacher training program and started teaching there and then I was pregnant shortly after that. So I said to the owner, hey, we don't have a prenatal yoga class, let, let me teach one. So that was, I started teaching prenatal yoga and then it, that's just been my, kind of my, my specialty, I guess. Inhale and lift. Transitioning into motherhood can be very overwhelming and I feel like we're missing that element in our community these days. There's not a lot of support for new mothers, especially if they have to go back to work or have to train to breastfeed. And so the friendships that I see these women form in class that carry them through you know, the next child and the next, it's just amazing. And they come back and they, you know, they have their second child all together. And it's, that I think is the biggest difference between prenatal and regular yoga. Good, open the eyes. And then the class itself focuses more on restorative and gentle poses, poses that help deal with the sort of common discomforts of pregnancy. And then we prepare them for labor. You know, I'll have them hold challenging poses for a minute and say, pretend this is a contraction, you know, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna breathe through it. So we, we try and link in the body a lot to that. Oh.